Hey down ladies, it's David Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Lisa from Blackpink and why people believe she may be saying that BTS and Blackpink may never be friends. I think there's a lot going on with this and recently things have kind of even gotten to a boiling point and we need to address it. I also want to get into Taehyung mentioning Jungkook's solo mixtape and what is going on with that. I also have a lot of thoughts on this. So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch and let's jump into the tea. If you're new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified and some new video drops. And if you use a hey, like to be first to leave your hate comment. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also and you'll be first to do so. Now let's jump into it. First thing I want to get into is why BTS and Blackpink may never actually be friends. Pretty much ever. Or at least the fandom is probably not going to allow it. If you don't know, these are the two most powerful and passionate fandoms that currently exist. And they have a lot of opinions. I don't want to place blame because I think both fandoms have had at least one person start something and then, and then when given another opportunity, the other fandom will have one person start something. So it is even. But of course, in this game of cat and mouse, there is no winner and it doesn't end. And sometimes some of these haters want that. People have too much time on their hands and there's people that literally love to see drama happen and will go and create it. BTS and Blackpink are under HYBE or have some association with each other. HYBE has publicly invested in YG or YG into HYBE, I am not sure. But basically when you invest in a company, you own a part of it. They are a part of each other. But while it's very obvious that behind the scenes, they may have nothing against each other, they can never publicly ignore acknowledge each other. Recently, I don't know what the start of this drama was, but it seemed like it was just to irritate each other. Someone tweeted out BTS disbanding, I believe, and every time a fandom wants to attack another fandom, they will trend group disbanding. Like, it's so weird. But they trended BTS disbanding, and of course people freaked out because it trended number one worldwide. Some people, I think, ultimately thought it was Blinks that did this. Again, I don't know if it was, but then Blackpink disbanding started trending worldwide, and to be quite honest, it was kind of funny. But the scariest thing about about these two fandoms is the fact that the boys and the girls don't actually have to do anything. Blackpink and BTS, they don't have to say anything or even breathe and the fandom will have drama within the community. Like this is so beyond the control of the girls and the boys. It's interesting because when an American celebrity doesn't make a comeback or anything, usually there's no drama within the communities. The communities and fandoms stay quiet until the celebrity come back. But this is exactly what I believe Blackpink and BTS fear the most. I think they fear the fandom sometimes and they probably realize that in moments where they are not even addressing each other, fan wars happen. People freak out when they see trend in worldwide BTS disbanding. So much so that the tweetster caption guy had to step in to be like, look, they're not disbanding. And another example of just how crazy this is, is even when Tang just sang Lovesick Girls in a short video, some people were mad. And it's moments like this that keep the girls from answering or addressing BTS in any way. Because if they do, it would potentially be a scandal. There was a moment from Hollywood Fix. I don't know if these guys are like real paparazzi or like YouTube paparazzi. I'm sorry, if you're a paparazzi that stalks YouTubers and TikTokers, like what even? That's not real, whatever. But anyway, they for some reason were tipped off enough to know about this particular restaurant. It must be super popular and amazing restaurant because it was packed and it looked like they couldn't even get a seat there. The paparazzi came up to Jenny, Lisa, and Jisoo. This was at the time when Rose was probably doing her promotion and the girls were initially waiting outside. They went inside the restaurant and it looked like they asked how long of a wait it was going to be because I think paparazzis are not allowed inside the restaurant. So if the girls were seated, they'd be safe. And it seemed like there were a lot of paparazzi there. The girls looked like they weren't able to get a seat and had to leave right away because they couldn't wait outside. It wasn't going to be safe. And when the girls went into their van, right when Lisa went into the van, paparazzi yelled, do you guys like BTS? Now they didn't answer and they didn't say anything. And they probably also knew that in this moment, if they were to say anything, it would be taken out of context and any reaction they make will be used against them. Them not even having having a reaction was taken by some people that Jenny and Lisa were annoyed that the paparazzi would even ask. I don't think they were actually annoyed at that question. They might have been annoyed at the situation, but I don't think they personally would ever be annoyed at answering a question regarding BTS. I think they're scared. I think Lisa and Jenny are terrified at this idea of talking or addressing BTS because any small reaction is going to cause a fan war. This question being asked probably caused a small fan war too. And I'm not even talking about the people that would be mad at the paparazzi asking this to Blackpink. I am talking about the people who took Blackpink's silence as meaning they hate BTS or people see in this video and commenting BTS is better anyway, things like that. So you can obviously see not only is the likelihood of them ever making a song really slim to none, even them being friends is slim as well. It's not possible because they can literally lose mass followers. There's literally people in the fandom that also see it as betrayal for them to acknowledge each other. Blinks and armies fight a lot and if an army gets into a heated argument with a blink, they would 
assume BTS is now taking that Blink's side by befriending Blackpink. Does that make sense? And it's a very weird phenomenon that happens and it's very strange to understand. I think both of these groups do understand the gravity of even saying hi to each other. I remember I made a video about Jungkook being rich. I mean, all of these idols are rich, but I talked about it and remember seeing some comments of people saying that they were disappointed in Jungkook for being rich. You might not relate to him, but being rich is not a crime or even a bad thing. You should see it as inspiring. He didn't have much growing up and he worked. He really worked for it. And now he's rich. That's admirable. That's not a bad thing. Jungkook is always and will always be someone I look up to and I think physically too because I think he's taller than me. I can't wait for new work and new music to come out. I am literally dying over this idea of a mixtape coming out soon and it looks like it will not be out anytime soon. Of course you can't rush genius but I had initially thought he may drop something as a surprise on his birthday but it seems not to be the case. But we actually did get somewhat of an update on the mixtape and the process of the mixtape. I believe BTS did an interview with Vanity Fair and they had to answer some very fun questions. One of the questions that was asked was what their favorite song to perform or sing and the members had to guess what the answer was. And Jin answered in kind of a funny way a song called Jin 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 and I think it's supposed to be a funny song because everyone thought the answer was funny. But I don't actually know what the song is, I've never heard of it. But then Jungkook had to answer a similar question, everyone had to guess his answer. Tan shockingly said, is it the new song from your new mixtape? This is a very interesting answer because from this I assume that Taehyung had maybe heard the song before and had some idea of what the mixtape sounded like but also saying that is pretty much just hinting or teasing the mixtape because Jungkook has not performed any songs from it so it couldn't be his favorite song to perform or sing so I feel like this was a little leakage a little hint we love little leakage and a hint but Jin immediately interrupted and then went on to say how the song was a secret and that it was not done yet or not written yet so that kind of ruined my theory because it definitely showed that maybe Taehyung doesn't know or hasn't heard of any of the songs on there yet because they're not done. But it also gives us a very good timeline of the mixtape. Like we at least have some sort of idea of how far along he is with the mixtape. And that answer is he is not far along. We know nothing is coming out soon. I mean, that's not the answer I was hoping for, but it's better than sitting here thinking it could come out tomorrow and hoping it would only to be disappointed every day. All right, fine. That's not the best of news. It sucks. But we also know that Jungkook has been throwing out songs and stuff. So we know he wants to make sure this mixtape is perfect before he puts it out and that alone is worth the wait. I can't wait for the day it finally all drops and we get to sit there and enjoy a Jungkook mixtape and we get to see it during concerts and all that. I do also hope there could be a solo Jungkook tour which would be amazing. I think all of us would attend and cheer Jungkook on. I would definitely be purchasing a ticket to go. I mean I would purchase a ticket to see him sit on a chair for an hour but the likelihood of said ticket to him sitting on a chair not being sold out is very low. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave down the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check that out, I have live videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you'd like to see over there. And we also do have a great time interacting with each other over there as well. So if you're interested in any of that, link is in the top of the description down below. There's also a video over there that kind of goes over how you can support this channel even more if you would like to do that. There's on the front page. Feel free to check it out. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.